I want you to not do something for me. Pay attention closely because whatever you do, do not think about this pink elephant. You may be thinking, why would I ask you to not do something and then present it right here in front of you? Well, it's because I guarantee that you have a vivid image of a pink elephant in your mind right now, and you'll likely have it way after I finish this video. This begs the question, why can your brain not follow up on the simple order to not think about the pink elephant? This is because the ability to focus is one of the most important and efficient functions your brain has. It has an extraordinary ability to concentrate, yet it deeply struggles when trying to shift away from that same focus. Your brain has little to no ability to decipher from positives and negatives. It only knows the attention of currency and what we focus on. Now the pink elephant is very similar to you not wanting to check your latest social media feed when it dings or you not wanting to eat that delicious sugary food at your family's get together. The more we resist something in our minds, the more it persists, unfortunately. Now this brings me to my own battle with mental health that was weighing me down like a big huge pink elephant in my 20s. I'm not even gonna lie, my 20s were rough. Growing up as one of the only Jewish kids in my high school, I was always trying to find a way to fit in. I always felt out of place, so I ended up trying to seek group approval through sports, and when that no longer worked, I turned to drugs and alcohol. A combination of bad choices and bad luck led me facing everything from brain surgery, epileptic seizures, panic attacks, and debilitating anxiety. With my negative thinking, I found myself entangled in the dark web of drug addiction and violence. My actions led me to hospitals, a mental institution, and even extended stay in a jail cell. This was all before I knew how the brain worked and what I call the miracles of neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity in simple terms is our nervous system's ability to reorganize itself and change in our lifespan. It gives us our neurological and biological ability to change, heal, and adapt. Now our brain is probably the most complex thing that we know of in the universe. It has over 86 billion brain cells, and in each cell there's over 10,000 connections that can be made. It's kind of like the busiest airport that you can ever imagine, with every person as a neuron making new connections across many terminals. With these lessons, I'm now compelled to help others have the same realizations that I have. And it all begins with what we focus on, because what we focus on expands and multiplies. In neuroplasticity, one fundamental is neurons that fire together, wire together. But in the same sense, neurons that no longer fire together, no longer wire together. Neuroplasticity truly is our superpower and the gauge for all human potential. Because can you imagine freedom of a life that isn't dictated by the pink elephants of anxiety, depression, addiction, or any other mental health issue? So the next time that you find yourself focused on a pink elephant, remember that you have the power, the inherent power, to change your thoughts and ultimately change your life. No BS, but we are all in this together. Each of us struggling with our own pink elephants, but together we can change this narrative. If you found value in this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so somebody that's struggling can find this solid information that helped me.